Hey, what's going on, YouTube? Back at it again, Marine X here, and it is that time. Provide a cigar club for the month of July 2021. I got it on time. I think I've been doing that consistently for a few months now. Please give me my kudos. Pat me on the back because there are times when I am pushing the envelope. You know, Provide a Cigar Club, really, really cool club, man. I've been a part of them for over a year now, man. I just got my letter. I'm feeling really excited about that. For those of you that do not know, Provide a Cigar Club is a monthly cigar subscription service. You pay $25 a month plus $5.95. I think by $5.95 flat rate shipping, no tax, at least depending on the state you're in. I'm in Texas, no tax. $31 out the door. You're getting three cigars. They're not necessarily rare. They're not necessarily always going to be like the most expensive, but they are going to cater to your palate. When you go to provide a cigar club, you know, you enter in, you're putting them, you're letting them in, you're letting them know the different information, uh, giving them information about what do you prefer taste wise? What do you normally smoke? So forth and so on. They take that and they're able to curate something that will be good at least what they believe will be good for you so today i'm using a super cheap chinese knife that has been given to me before in the past you know i knocked this knife initially in my edc knives um, on my other channel but this thing has just come in handy when it comes to opening some boxes it is pretty sharp and when you're using it for that simple type of task it does get the job done give you some more background man today we're going to be drinking this good old Jack Daniel single barrel, barrel proof whiskey. Now, Jack Daniels never purports themselves to be bourbon, right? But they are freaking bourbon. So let's not get it twisted, Jack Daniels. We know that you are a phenomenal, in my opinion, bourbon. They're just really good. This one here. I just picked up recently. I'm really excited about. I I think Jack Daniels just did a collaboration, not Jason Aldean. Anyway, this bottle was specifically bottled on 4/7 of 2021. So, this is a 130 proof. 130.2 proof specifically. Let's see if we can catch that 130.2 proof. I've been a big fan of Jack Daniels, man. I, I, a lot of places I go, usually that sometime is just a reliable go-to bourbon, whiskey, whatever you want to call it. And so I, I don't shy away from Jack Daniels at all. For those of you that do, you know, hey, I'm telling you, man, you need to step your game up. We're going to be smoking at Lanserno. This one is called the La Barbara. Maybe I'm pronouncing that wrong. Let me just show you what it is. So the La Barbara, I got a box of these not too long ago. These are a nice smoke, man. They're not... Uh, they don't have the best draw, you know, you kind of, kind of got to babysit them a little bit, but they are, I just really enjoy these cigars, you know, so I always use to keep a box of these on hand. So, you know, normally I like my old faithful, the good old, uh, bench made cigar cutter, but because of the poor draw of the cigar, I'm definitely going to be babysitting it with the draw tool and I'm going to be using a little V cut today. So just kind of make life a little bit better in regards to maybe drawing the best possible um, draw from this cigar. Of course, using the Jeremy Sires ashtray that we picked up and Glen Karen glass with these nifty little tops I just recently picked up. So just wanna sit down and really enjoy the smoke. Clean V cut there. So let's get into the the actual, the reason you clicked on the video. Let's just hop into this good old Pravada Cigar Club. Oh, finally, using just a regular Zippo. This does have the butane uh, flame type butane insert. So, you know, sometimes I go soft for this one. I know it's gonna go out often. I know I'm gonna be babysitting it. Oh, man, this stuff smells good. So like, you know, I got Elijah Craig Barrel Proof back there. That's 136 proof. I think I did that on a sip and see. This Jack Daniels smells not I mean, I didn't let it air out. I just cracked this bottle open, literally smelt the cork, smelt the bourbon itself. It smells so freaking good. This is some good smelling stuff. actually put some pretty good stuff let's jump into the cigar uh, provide a cigar club for the month of july 
So as, as you guys know, Provider Cigar Club, man, as I mentioned earlier, monthly subscription service. I opt for the Farmed Row. That's a little green bag that you see here. We'll talk more about that later. Let's just get into the actual package and talk about what they send you over there. So, you know, a year ago, I logged on Provider Cigar Club, registered, told them about my palate. My palate back then was really, really, you know, I like Corona um, type cigars. I like some Maduros. I, but I was tending to lean towards, you know, the flavor cigars and they were able to draw me away from that. And I've really learned more about my palate. So well packaged every time you get it always includes the little distilled water or mini humidor to, you know, just keep your cigars fresh while they're in good old United States Postal Service. Now I will say this, these are some unique looking bands, Provider Brian, Brian, you always draw me in. This fat gauge thing here is normally not my cup of tea, but there have been very few cigars that I have shied away from when it came to Provada. This one here, similarly sized to this, this smaller Lancerno that I'm, I got lit up right here. It's a little bit bigger. So I guess maybe this is a 44 gauge I'm holding. I'm not sure the gauge of this one. I learn more how to do a good old lighter switch, man. Damn lighter went out on me so of course we're going back to one of my favorite um vector thunderbird uh cigar lighter with this soft butane insert my zippo's out of butane don't feel like filling it up right now i want to jump into this box not only they send you the cigars themselves, they also send you, you know, about the wrapper, the binder, the fillers. So this first cigar here is called the King County Habano 6x60 aged 11 months. This thing is, ooh, this is a big boy. This is a big boy, a big cigar. I mean, let's look at this wrapper, man. Let's look at the wrapper. Let's check out the binder. This thing is a... Uh, you know, I'm not a big fan of these big sizes sometimes, but I will say this. The band is pretty unique looking. I think that's a so a picture of Kanye West's Jesus chain that he wears sometimes. So really unite, you know, nice looking band there. It's an Ecuad uh, Ecuadorian Habano wrapper. The binders Dominican fillers are Nicaraguan with a touch of Peru. So a nice mixture of tobacco and cigars here so on the tasting notes he mentions that he gets saddle he gets some leather barnyard this smells this smells really good man he says that he mentioned some chocolate scented oil you know it's crazy because i was taking just smelling this cigar itself i smell chocolate even you know i'm not gonna smoke this probably maybe until this weekend or for a few more days but it, you can smell the chocolate he suggests that you pair this with some cognac some spice dye scotch spice do i have some of that i'm probably pronouncing this wrong but he pronounced that you pair this with a kraken more or spy side scotch now I'm, I'm assuming that's from a specific regions in scotland where these 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 scotch whiskeys come from this one here i haven't even opened it yet i'm trying to get better about scotches and this one's been aged 12 years and i mean i should dive into it maybe you will be the winner this is oak age 12 years non-chilled filter obviously this does come from scotland i'm excited about this I, i'll probably dive into it especially now they're mentioning that you should pair this with a scotch um, it says black cherry soda an hour before smoking, dried fruits, uh, dark chocolate, dark roast coffee with sugar, espresso with some sugar, a lager, root beer, s'mores, marshmallow, sesame seed candy an hour before or after Chinese food. Okay. Normally, I would let the gauge draw me away from something like this just because of that six by 60. But that is something that I do look forward to giving a whirl. So next we have let's see the black label trading works killer b provada james brown exclusive lonsdale age one year four months i'm assuming yep this is c killer b this is the one we have here this killer b now look at this look at this little band man 
This band is a. Uh, this is something I'm not a huge fan of it. I mean, it seems pretty plain Jane. It's literally a killer B. It's a killer B logo on there. I like the coloration, but it's nothing, nothing super special about this band. I, I'll smoke it. I'll keep my notes. The um, the rapper is kind of dark. You know, if we compare these two rappers, right, you can kind of see, you know, the one in the one that I'm moving around here is from the Provada box. And the, the rapper is a lot darker than the rapper of this uh, cigar in my left hand, the, Parva, or the, Par, the La Parbarda or whatever it's called. So, you know, that would normally make me pause. The first cigar is a large gauge cigar, which would normally bring me pause. This one has a darker wrapper, which would normally bring me pause. But trust in the process, Provada. That's why I've been with you for so long. OK, crawl, walk, run bacon lettuce and tomatoes let's just get there okay so the rapper is ecuadorian maduro okay boom you got me i like maduro now it is dark but i do like maduro i like the flavoring maduro the binder is nicaraguan the fillers are nicaraguan all right so let's look into these tasting notes the tasting notes the body is tobacco um churning or curing barn and cocoa butter on the foot sweet tea more cocoa butter draw is ripe summery peach salty minerals in the first third the creaminess of nut butter peppermint essential oil coconut these are things i don't normally get peach juice i don't ever drink peach juice they get some of that black pepper finish on the incredible smoke it has a rich vanilla and chocolate they suggest that you pair this with a good rye bourbon so most likely the candidate for pairing this with will be this written house straight rye 100 proof bottled in bond that i have been sipping on lately and i've really enjoyed it rittenhouse has a really good rye whiskey now the crazy thing about this is in that um that that little you know that boomstick back there that's full of of bourbon behind me that's full of knob creek rye which is really good as well so two good rye uh whiskeys that we can pair this with so we come here i'm gonna guess that this he doesn't specifically call it out but i think this is a 44 um so it's probably a 6 by 44. the reason i say that is because the cigar that i'm smoking is a 7 by 40 and this one seems to be a little bit bigger gauge so i'm gonna call it a 6 by 44 he doesn't really call that out here he also just suggests that you have this with root beer or root beer barrel candy bagel with cream cheese milk chocolate pretzels medium roast coffee and chocolate covered strawberry strawberry soda strawberry ice cream stout beer and peanuts all right and finally finally we have the cafe or the cafe 1901 cigars gray wolf aged one year this cigar look at that look at the end of that thing it's kind of like a little pigtail I don't know if you can see that but it's like a kind of looks like a pigtail and once again it has that darker maduro vibe to it i'm not sure if that's what it is let's look at the actual band it has a little wolf on there it has a wolf super simple band this one is a san andreas from mexico san andreas valley it does have um a Cirello 19 or 98 Honduran binder. The filler is Honduran. Tasting notes on the body, picking up eucalyptus and tomato plant. Those are kind of just out there, Brian. Eucalyptus and tomato plants. That's how we know you smoke a lot of damn cigars. Like I don't, there's no way I'm gonna pick up a tomato plant. A tomato, okay, maybe. Um, some hay, leather as well. The foot is sweet iced tea. Cold draw is sweet. It reminds me of pipe tobacco. First third is black pepper, charcoal. Okay, smooth syrup texture like molasses as you go throughout the actual cigar. As you work your way towards the third third, it has dried oregano, lemon, salt-like citric acid, and faint vanilla. He suggests that you pair this with a Cabernet Sauvignon. Ooh, this is one of the first cigars that I can remember that Provada has sent me that they suggest you pair it with a red wine. Oh, that first swig was good, but that second swig is just, it's there. It's there. 
All I got to do after this is go to bed. So luckily. But, you know, he pairs uh, Cabernet Sauvignon, some cream soda, Gentleman Jack. Wow. Now, I'm drinking this with um, Jack Daniels single barrel proof. Gentleman Jack is a sweeter tasting Jack Daniels, which I really enjoy. Um, I usually don't keep a bottle on hand. So we'll see. Maybe we can grab snacks, some of that stuff as well. Some charred steak, dark chocolate covered raisins, vanilla wafers. Carrot cake, strawberry cheesecake, yogurt, covered pretzels or raisins, Belgian beer, sausage sandwich. Pause. Green tea with honey and sushi. All right. So those are the cigars for the month. Now, as I mentioned, I'm reading from this paper here where they talk about the cigar. They talk about the wrapper, the binder. They also give you those tasting notes and then they follow all that up with some pairing notes. So you send that. So normally what I do is I take this paper, I fold it in half and I stick it behind me on top of my cigar humidor. So that way, when I go to grab the cigar for this month or maybe last month, I can just quickly open this up, take notes of my little cigar Bible and enjoy the cigars. But I'm telling you, you're not getting full value out of Provada Cigar Club unless you are with the farmed road now the farmed road is 20 additional dollars for 20 additional dollars brian sends you four a couple of months he sent me five um, additional cigars now this is my theory about why you're getting such good bangers i let me stop my farm road i have never ever been disappointed with the cigars that I've gotten in my farm road. Now, one thing I'll tell you about the farm road is they're normally unbanded. So they're they're normally unbanded cigars and you get four additional cigars. So this month's a little different. I see bands on all four of these. Now, I don't know if that means these are the actual bands from the factory and the cigars themselves, or if this is Brian rebanding these. So let's see, Cayo is named after Kano Art Azango, founded in 1977. So mentions at the bottom of, so the farm bro, it says, because of your subscription loyalty and social media support, we are able to bring you the finest cigars direct from the factory without third party price markup for the best, from the best farms to the best factories for the best members. We are Pravada. Now, the thing about this is, you know, these are four additional cigars where Brian gives you way less limited notes. They give you the gauge. They give you a short description of the actual cigars themselves. So you can kind of just kind of pair them and figure out, you know, what which cigar is this for? Which one is this belong to? These are all I mean, they're really unique looking cigars. I'm excited about this first one that I'm picking up here. This is a four by 54 Brazilian Aparco Maduro. Just a little, little small thing here, but the band is on it. Um, they're all labeled by Kyle. So Kyle Fatheads, I'm assuming that, you know, these some of these some of these bands are some of the most unique i've seen ever on some cigars really really nice now this was 20 additional dollars i got four cigars for premium cigars for 20 additional dollars they have fillers and binders from brazil and from mexico ecuador uh, they're ecuadorian i have a connecticut broadleaf like they're just different bangers that you're getting here and so now you get 40 or 20 additional dollars i come out of pocket every month about 55 bucks i think maybe 59 bucks something like that it's automatic charge that i have no issues hitting my card i'm excited about every month so here you're able to see they go from farm to factory to your home brian also gives you a little bit of room on the back of these sheets if you want to take your own notes but you know as you guys know i use my uh cigar bible for whenever i take notes for, for provada i mean that's it man if you're still not a part of provada cigar club i don't know what you got going on i'm very confident they just started with coffee so they are definitely going to be getting the ducats for that all my lighters run out of butane 
seemingly the same day and at the same time except for my my big 13 dollar torch lighter that i got from amazon that thing just keeps going like like i i feel like i never put butane in that thing but these i'm like putting them in left and right i mean i'm not sure what else y'all want man i showed you the cigars for this month i told you you need to join i showed you the farmed road i've been with them for over a year there's been some times when i've been disappointed in a cigar or two but never an entire package for instance last month that big bird that shit was trash to me But everybody's different, man. I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you how to flow. But I am going to tell you that thank you for coming back again. You know, we are approaching 8,000 subscribers on my other channel. If you have not seen that, I will definitely link it up. Matter of fact, man, if you like unboxings and stuff like this, just, just click, click, click here, man. I'm going to put some videos up of some unboxings. You can watch those things till you pass out. If you're all about man cave stuff, survival stuff, click on my other channel. Check that out, man. In the meantime, thanks for coming back. We'll speak soon.